I love TV. I love everything about it. It was my oldest and best friend. Uh, I've spent more time with the TV than I have any person or school or thing. For that alone, you gotta love the box. My name is Phil Savinick and I'm a televisionary. That's someone who watches television, loves television, and in my case, I also make television. Uh, for many years, I've been editing together tributes for uh, variety shows, award shows, big TV specials. So somebody had to sit there and watch the whole hours and hours and hours of stuff. And that's the best job we have here is watching TV for a while. But over the years, you know, I've thought, since I love TV so much, it's really my duty to shamelessly adore the two. So when we opened up our uh, production facility here, I kind of put in this TV museum and we went and found the most eccentric and weird designs ever. So here's my Hall of Fame of the greatest TVs ever designed. There's the original swivel head Philco Predicta that you could see from any place in the room. There's the JVC, ooh, I don't really have a TV until we uncover it. There's the video sphere, which was based on the astronauts' helmets. That we landed on the moon in 1969, then they made that the next year. But a TV set doesn't have to be old to be wonderful. Here's one made just a couple of years ago by a company in Canada, where they took the TV out of its box and put the wires in a vacuum cleaner hose, and then they put the Chinese walk is where the works are, the red planet is the remote control eye, and the blue planet, the Earth, is the speaker. So I think my career is pretty secure because Americans would rather watch TV than eat. They'd rather watch TV than do anything. The only thing to watch out for is, I think it does suck our brains out through our eyeballs. After seeing my office, a friend of mine came up to me and asked if I knew there was a patron saint of television. I said no, and sure enough, St. Clara of Assisi was proclaimed television's patron saint in 1958. So I decided, well, television had a saint, uh, we should build a shrine. Now there's uh, St. Clair on our altarpiece. We have the flying predicta, we have circuit boards, we have tubes, we have universal remotes, and we even have St. Lucy of Ball presiding over the whole thing. Then once the idea caught on, we, we got the televotive candles. Uh, the holy book is, of course, a television set. Now, people come here, they pray for uh, reruns, they pray for residual checks, they pray to get a job, we pray just to finish a job, but we have our own little chapel. Hollywood's the kind of town where everybody wants to be something else. All the writers really want to be directors, all the waiters really want to be actors. So I'm a producer who really rather be an artist. But I took my life in television and interpreted it into what I call televisionary art. Now each of the pieces actually have TV, TV themes, TV love, TV lore, TV guide stuff. I've been looking for you. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Whoa, paparazzi! I'm being incredibly excited. Well, what's so nice is uh, rarely do I get a white room with a light on every painting, so they probably look better tonight than they've ever looked before. <laughs> so uh, the show had already opened here at the uh, Hollywood Entertainment Museum, and I just decided there were a few more things I wanted to make. So just last night, we went in here and we hollowed out an old Motorola TV set. And this red frame is actually a toilet seat. It's an homage to the three things that people will always watch on TV. Heroes, sex, and death. TV is such a huge part of all our lives. It's our electronic umbilical cord. I mean, there are lots of people who are snobs about television. Phil loves television, and that's what makes his work so much fun. I think those of us with a good visual literacy owe a lot to television. I think uh, from the time we were very young, we saw an amount of imagery unprecedented in history. We are what we watched. Philip has seen the truth through the boob tube. He also, of course, understands those kinds of perils that television subjects one to. All right, this is a new painting called The Man-Eating TV. We have transistors and circuit boards and the wires, and they're coming out and they're devouring the fair maidens. So watch out for TV. His vision is unique, and he spent his life creating in television and creating in art, and that makes him a true televisionary. 
Ever since I've known him, Phil went to sleep with the television on and woke up with the television on. My mother always used to say, stop watching television already, do something constructive with your life. Well, now I want to introduce you to my mother and see if she's changed her mind. I think he's wonderful and talented, but I did tell him, don't quit your day job. <laughs>